Welcome back, my lovelies. I'm just looking at my index cards here that are flowing, and we do have a heavy week of transits and beautiful things that are coming our way. We ended the last reading with the Lovers card, which is Gemini, and Jupiter moves into Gemini. Let's talk briefly about that. The transit says that communication will be an open line between people. Okay, so you're able to voice your opinions. What's important is the throat chakra the entire week. Uh, leading up to, I believe, the full moon. You know, I feel like things get realized under that. Um, the Sagittarius full moon is about truths and adventures and being adventure seeking and attacking what you want to do in life and maybe even opening up, I don't know, like an old skill, a talent that's already there. And so we discover that through this blend of excitement and also the fact that we could have new communications. Um, I think that it is not only a good challenge for Libras and the talkative air signs like Aquarius and Gemini to exercise this muscle. It's a, it's a great part of your persona. The air signs are communication. And so definitely looking at that as a prized piece, um, it's useful to use your communication. I know here on this channel, every day when we meet, it's sort of like half class and then half the tarot story for the day. So let's clarify that lover's card. I'm just going to go with the first few cards of this shuffled uh, rosy future. And then we're going to jump into it with mermaid tarot and take a deep dive. No pun intended with the mermaid, but we're going to get into it with the lover's card. The clarification for Gemini, the lover's card. The king of pentacles is a clarifier. Okay. Definitely um, a stable man or a stable divine masculine or feminine. It seems like they want you to know that in their arms, they could take care of you. Okay, so we have a stable figure here of some kind, or they want you to know that there is a part of them that cares about stability, which means this person cares about their monetaries. I feel like this is a financially focused person, and then an offer comes its way. And they can be two different people, two Libras. This king and this page can be two different human beings. So that's a clarifier for the lovers. Can I get any more on the lover's card too? Three of Cups, which showed up in the last reading. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The owner primarily is a Cancer. It's a Cancer card. And we see that social invitations are going to be coming to you. Um, this morning, I heard somebody describe the transit, the Gemini and Jupiter transit, as something of an unexpected bringing together of group efforts, single people, um, those who want to be coupled. And I feel like it's a good time to, if you're looking for somebody, um, you're open to it, you know, it doesn't mean you're going to get somebody, but it also just means that you're open to the social communication. So take it for face value. You know, it's just a grain of salt today with this card, but also know that it has a great possibility for it. An offer coming in. There's a King of Pentacles that wants you to know that they're here. And we're going to look at the rest of the lovers associated cards in the environment. We have judgment. Okay, so you've made a severe, maybe firm decision to move ahead. Also, I, I'm getting something about couples. If you're a coupled effort and you want to work on the relationship, the decision is that you're going to stand by this person. You're going to work through it especially if it's established already and you've been going, okay? That's what the cards are saying. Um, what about an incoming one that we're open for, a relationship that we're open to, okay? Anything that brings in that it's difficult, we want to stay away from, we want to work on what's new. We do not want to work on a relationship that contains burden to it, okay? Also, it takes, you know, it brings down your energy when you have to work with something that's very difficult. So I think you're steering away from and if you notice it's a 10 so it's a dead end and it's already occurred some of you are moving towards these social events in the three of cups because your soul yearns for it and you're also ready for the interactions i know i am you know <laughs> i gotta knock on the table for that one but it's a very very good discussion that brings up the three of cups Okay, so what else is showing up in the reading that we do need to know about? Thank you. I'm going to get four cards. Queen of Wands, the King of Swords, the Four of Cups. Okay, so I immediately saw something when they fell on the table, and I just want to discuss with you. The Queen of Wands is a beautiful card about fire energy, energetic, passion, 
uh, she's attractive or he, because this can be divine masculine or divine feminine. And then we have a four of cups here of somebody looking at a queen of wands in that way. I get a feeling of missing out on you, understanding that you've gotten away too. And I feel like this person has a call to your energy. They could be a previous twin flame that's separated, or this is a divine masculine that often thinks of you. I believe this is the classical page of swords that we've been seeing. So is the three of cups a part of that? Let's ask that. And there's another one I didn't see here. Eight of cups, walking away for your higher good. This leads all the way up to the flower moon. So I feel like if you have bad vibes of something that's burdensome, I feel like you get clarity quick on it and you move toward the thing that makes you feel happy, vibrant. Um, you're not being an escapist. You're just going towards the energy that is naturally of your authentic self. And you've done your shadow work, so you're able to live in this card, which is the Queen of Wands is the reward for doing the shadow work, okay? Um, and remember, you can be the Empress, you can be the Queen of Wands. She's just vehemently showing up as the attractive card for today. And when I read energy, I see that social environments are the incoming thing for you. Might see it on other channels, but you saw it here first. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Four of Cups person, let's check that out as well. The Morning Jam for Monday. We have the Moon card. You could be dealing with water signs. So I'm getting an immediate Scorpio, or you have it in your chart, like it's a moon or it's a rising. You could have a moon element that's Cancerian or Pisces, or there's a placement here that's rather huge. I feel like this part of you gets activated. Your caring side, also the mystery about you gets activated. Maybe other people are seeing this through your Queen of Wands. Um, I feel energetically it's the feminine part of the moon that you are also very intrigued with during this time. Being caring, self-nurturing, looking at the things too that you want to accomplish. Um, I'll give you an example of this. I have a Cancerian moon. And so just to share with those of you that could look at your chart, um, I definitely feel more of like home decor at this time. I really, really want to spend time more with my nephews. That is a card that I'm trying to practice more into my daily life. So your queen of wands can look very different. It can mean that you're physically changing. You're enhancing certain things. Also, it's tangible. It's things that you can touch. So remember, I call her the physical queen of the tarot. What's the environment and the feelings going on around her? Page of Cups. So the clarifier, and you saw it in our primary video, it's a page of cups that wants responses, okay? Um, they find you to be social at this time, and a lot of you are looking great. The Queen of Wands is physical, like you look absolutely stunning, or you look like you're taking care of your health. You're play, uh, paying special attention to health matters as well. Again, very, very physical. Queen of Wands for me is Aries. All right, so let's keep going on your feelings. Let's do a brief energy check-in. Queen of Pentacles, you're coming out as the queen of the coins. And we also have the sun card, definitely happier, okay? Stress on the happier and the lovers is on your brain, is what the tarot wants to say. Tell me if it's truth or if it's dare. Um, and so we have the lovers card and the sun, big cards for happiness, okay? Let's go with the split. Two of Swords. You might have had to make a choice over one person, over the other, or you're making a choice for yourself. Overall, it's just a choice card. What it, what started the journey was wanting to feel good. And so if you've accomplished this and you've reached that sun energy, I told you guys about this solar plexus, maybe activation that happened. It's because you understand that communication. This and the Three of Cups are also coming to blend and have I don't know, it's like a new chapter feeling. Uh, there's opportunities that arise from these communications. As you see, we have Gemini with the transit and then we also have Cancer here, which is all about nurturing. Nurturing relationships, nurturing the group, nurturing yourself because you're a part of the group. And also it could be a greater message about something that you need to do with your purpose, okay? So it might involve people. Let's look at that clarifier at the end here. I'm gonna grab a very different tarot deck. This is the Tattoo Tarot. We do have the chariot with movement, okay? So social invitations could involve your, I don't know, your leadership. The chariot is also something that stampedes ahead with a lot of speed. So it might take your actions to move this project or it might take your actions to be the leading stamp here. 
uh, Ten of Swords. I feel like this is a past card. Going forward without betrayals in your life. Going forward looking at these social invitations as these people might be different for me or these relationships could definitely not be a Ten of Swords. Let me give it a try. Uh, also, as you've healed, other people are going through their own journey too to heal certain wounds. So I would say give those opportunities a shot because you never know productively what could come from it, especially if it's a vibe tribe or people that really feel you. And we also have the moon. You think that there's hidden energy around you. And we're going to check that out. The lover's card is about someone being very close to you. And the moon is the hidden mystery. Are they going to say it or not? Okay, so let's check on that. Ten of Swords seems like it's past. Let's clarify it with three cards. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Five of Coins. There's a past lover that feels left out of your new expeditions. This is the new expedition and expansion that you're pulling. And then we have a Five of Pentacles. I think it's outside of you. I do not believe this collective is an empress in a five of pentacles i just don't i feel like this is environmental okay uh you guys show up a lot as empress lately in the sun on my channel and i'm pretty sure other high vibrational like readers into it they're carrying you as the empress at this time and that's what they're pulling for you um what is the moon what's the hidden energy that we see here it is judgment it's the fact that a decision cannot be dilly dallied has to be firm okay because this moon escapes after the decision has been made and i feel like that's a fair call for yourself i feel like it's being fair to another and it's also reconciliations so you might come across family members and friends that come out of the woodwork during that transit jupiter and gemini and they come back and they actually reconcile themselves in your life which it's a win-win from here on out because i feel like if any of you are dealing with um, old folk from an old story, you're able to rewrite the script with a different decision. I want to thank you for your time again, and I hope you have a fabulous Monday. I want to do another couples reading today, but I am doing a few personals. So I want to let you know that this is the last time you'll probably see me for the next couple of hours, but I'm always with you in spirit. You can always send me an email too, if you would like to reach out to me, I'll put those details below. And I want to thank you for your beautiful day. You have a lot of social cards here, Libra. So uh, just remember that the lovers, the ace of wands, uh, we do have a lot of three of cups and the sun, of course, the sun could be you.